Hello there everyone and welcome back or welcome to my channel. This is the Daily Love Tarot Readings with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking into the Daily Love Energies for January 8th. That is a Friday. Please keep in mind that time is fluid. Everyone has their own divine timing and their own divine order from spirit. Please keep in mind that each zodiac sign will have their own reading. So in the description box below, you will find the timestamps to this video. I will also pin a comment in the comment section with the timestamps as well. Please do not forget to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs because not all messages will resonate with everyone out there. So please check out your other chart placements. Also, I do have a new release going out. How do they feel about you? You plus all zodiac signs. So in those readings, we are going to be looking at each zodiac signs feelings for whatever zodiac signs reading that is so go check those out on my channel i already got a few out and i'm going to be continuously releasing that for the next couple days so also if you're new here welcome please do not forget to like share and subscribe i would love to have you as a part of this beautiful channel and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back thank you so so very much for being here you are very very much appreciated and everyone do not forget to hit that like button it really really helps my channel so let's get into it we're gonna start off with my earth signs today for my Taurus Virgo Capricorn so spirit let's get into it for Taurus for January 8th in their love lives. What's going down for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? For January 8th in their love lives. For my beautiful Tauruses, what's going on for Taurus? All right, let's see. So Taurus, you have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right, Taurus, let's get some tarot and see what that all is about. So, Spirit for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's going on for January 8th? That is a Friday for my Tauruses. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my beautiful Tauruses. What's going on for Taurus? All right, Taurus. So, you have the Five of Wands, the King of Swords, and the devil okay so Taurus basically it looks like somebody's having a lot of anxiety over you this could be vice versa but it looks like ha somebody's having a lot of insecurity possible jealousy over you but it doesn't look like they are making that known so whoever this is here or whoever you've been connecting with it's either Taurus they're making you feel challenged and turning you off or this person is feeling challenged and insecure by you, but they're not letting you know this here. With this King of Swords coming out, also the Devil, they're having a lot of fears and doubts over this connection, or you're having a lot of fears and doubts over this connection working out. There may be multiple people involved here, or this person may feel like there are multiple people fighting for your attention, or vice versa. Keep in mind, these can go either way. But Taurus, it looks like the person that you're connecting with is feeling a bit standoffish towards this connection or the person that you're connecting with did something to you to make you feel insecure and really make you feel like you had to turn cold and you had to turn off your feelings to not feel all of these fears and doubts but they look so very strong so yes this does feel like true love like this is somebody you can really be with but there's a lot of conflict here and there's a lot of emotional turn off like somebody is emotionally turned off because they don't have any feelings or they're trying not to have feelings somebody like doesn't want to have feelings here but they can't help but have feelings basically that's what it looks like so it's a bit all over the place they want to have feelings yet they don't want to have feelings but they can't help but feel the tie towards you so 
Very interesting there. That's what I have. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be, but a lot of conflict, but this person... They can't help but feel the tie towards you or you can't help but feel the tie towards this person no matter how much conflict they cause you. So that's what I got for you, Taurus. So let's move through to my Virgos. Hello, Virgo. For Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs of Virgo. Spirit for January 8th in their love lives for my beautiful Virgos. For January 8th for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on. We have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, Virgo, so you may have been a little bit weary of opening up. You may have been a little bit closed off, not really wanting to open up to love. And Spirit is giving you some sort of indication that it is safe for you to open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy energy of all which is love so let's see what's going through virgo spirit for virgo sun moon rising venus signs for january 8th in their love lives all right here we go virgo we have the fool judgment and the eight of wands all right virgo so definitely could have a new person in your energy here with that fool coming through or somebody just wants you to take a risk on them somebody's like virgo i want this can you find it in your heart to take a risk on me honestly i feel like virgo you're making a decision to do it i feel like with judgment coming through you're listening to your inner voice and you're saying you know what i'm just gonna see what comes from this connection and it's gonna be very positive some of you a lot of fast-paced communication with this person Others of you, this could definitely be intimacy, conversation, intimacy, pillow talk, whatever you want to call it, but it looks very positive. Definitely opening up to this new beginning with them. Definitely making a decision to listen to your inner voice and really listen to, you know, your higher self and all the experiences that you have gone through in your love life, really pushing you towards this success and growth with this person. So Eight of Wands could definitely be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they may have fire in their chart. The Fool, definitely Aries energy there. And I just feel like, you know, Virgo, it looks like you're making a choice to open up to somebody because they are presenting you with a new beginning, a fresh start. And they're like, Virgo, will you take the risk? I like it. So that's what I have here for my beautiful Virgos. So let's move through to my Capricorns. Hello, my beautiful Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Happy birthday to all my Capricorn suns out there. Capricorn, keep your eyes open for your birthday love and money bonus reading. That will be coming out very, very soon. So let's get into it for my Capricorns for January 8th in their love lives. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What's going on for Capricorn? All right, Capricorn. You have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I like that card. So you may be feeling, or you may be in a connection or meeting somebody, whatever the case may be. Where you're putting a lot more effort into the connection than you did before or they're putting in more effort or you both are looking at this as a very great love that is worth the effort and the correct steps to take to make this connection grow. Definitely may feel like this is a very childlike connection with this person. Like you really feel drawn to them. You feel like you've known them your whole life or whatever. So let's see, let's get into it for my Capricorns making the effort or somebody's making it back to them. For this card, it, it reminds me of mutual effort. So let's see what the tarot's got for my Capricorns for January 8th. The Knight of Cups. The Ace of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, that's definitely making the effort here. I definitely feel like 
Capricorn, I feel like this has been you for quite some time. Very focused on your value, your worth. Like leveling up within yourself. Really putting yourself in this light of optimism, positivity, and really wanting to reap the rewards of that. And I feel like somebody's putting the effort into you where it's kind of like they're opening up and they're helping you want to open up as well. So I feel like you're both making the effort. Could have a water sign coming your way, Cancer Scorpio Pisces with this Knight of Cups. But this person wants to open up and they want you to open up as well. I feel like there's going to be more loving communication. Maybe that's where the effort had to be in. I feel like for some of you, Capricorn, somebody's trying to scoop you up here. Like they're trying to make you be single. I mean, not single. They're trying to make you go from single to in a relationship. I feel like somebody is very interested in committing to you or hoping you commit to them or make the effort to commit to them. But with this Ace of Swords, I feel like Capricorn, there's going to be a lot more loving communication with this person. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? I feel like that could just be a well-deserved reward that you're receiving, Capricorn, for focusing on your worth and focusing on your value and not putting pressure onto love. I feel like you may just be getting blessed with this spiritual connection here. The Knight of Cups is showing that you feel the spiritual connection to this person so heavily that you do want to make the effort. So why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Capricorn? You have the King of Swords. Yeah, Capricorn, you've been very focused on yourself. You've been very focused on your worth, your value, very closed off to love. And I finally feel like you're making the effort to open up. And I feel like if this was the other person, Capricorn, they've been acting like they're very worthy and closed off. Why is the King of Swords here? And now I feel like there's this change where they're making the effort to open up more as well. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. It's definitely a lot more effort put into this connection here where I feel like one of you was very closed off or both of you were very closed off to each other. But I feel like you both are finding it within you to really make the effort to this connection to help it grow. More loving communication as well. That what That's what it looks like it's surrounded by. And it's like this loving communication that somebody was probably very closed off emotionally is now deciding, you know, I'm going to give... Capricorn more loving communication or Capricorn you're finally opening up to somebody but it looks very positive two aces here blessed beginnings for you and this person I like it oh could be dealing water sign I said that already Cancer uh, Scorpio Pisces we have all signs out on the board King of Swords Aquarius Gemini Libra could be a fellow earth sign you're dealing with as well but that's what I have there for you Capricorns thank you for being here and thank you for watching and let's move through to my air signs, my Geminis, my Libras, and Aquariuses. So let's get into it for Gemini spirit, for January 8th, for my beautiful Geminis, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, for January 8th. All right. We have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Taurus also got this card, throwing it out there. Some of you are dealing with one. So let's see Gemini. True love coming through for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign, spirit for January 8th for my beautiful Geminis. Gemini, your how do they feel about you reading you plus all zodiac signs is out. If you want to go find that on my channel. So let's see for Gemini. Okay, Gemini, you have death, nine of pentacles, and temperance. Okay, so you may have just gone through some sort of ending or change or transformation. You may have just freed yourself from something that you thought was true love. Mm -hmm. That's what it kind of looks like here. If that's not the case, then I do feel like you have gone through many endings and transformations, possibly with a Scorpio or a Sagittarius, or maybe they have that in their chart. And I do see here with temperance that patience is needed for you and whoever you're connecting with or you and finding love. So Gemini, if you have just gone through some sort of transformation and some sort of ending 
and I feel like you're very focused on finding your worth and finding your value and honestly I feel like you doing that is going to bring you somebody. I do feel like for some of you Geminis there may be somebody who ended things with you. They see you looking good. They see you being fine without them and they may want to come back around to bring balance back into this situation or try to work things out. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but it looks like you're looking good and everybody's seeing it. So whether this is the person who ended things with you or you ended things with them, somebody looks like they want to bring balance to this connection. So it could be this person or it could be a totally new person that you're finding that is possibly a little bit different from different from you. But I definitely feel like it could be a pretty good romantic relationship no matter who this person is. It just looks like... Hmm. It looks like you could live at a distance from someone here. But if there's been a change or an ending in your life, Gemini, you leveled up from it. And people are seeing it and people are wanting to come into your energy. So I definitely feel like you're going to have at least one energy that is willing to work with you. You may have little sporadic energies that come your way just because that's what happens when you level up. You attract a thousand different things towards you and you have to figure out which one is best for you. So that's what I have here for my Geminis. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see y'all very, very soon. And let's get into it for my Libras for January 8th for Libra in their love lives. For my Libras in their love lives for Libra in their love lives for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's see what's coming through for Libra. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. All right, some conversing. Let's see what that's all about for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get another shuffle here. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 8th. All right, Libra, let's see what this is all about. We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of Swords, and we have Judgment. Yeah, it does some look like somebody's coming for you, Queen of Wands. They know what they want, and they want Libra, and they want to move forward with you somehow. Six of Swords. Somebody may want to heal with you. There may have been conflict. There may have been defeated energy. There could have been some arguments. And whoever this is, they do want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and see if you two can move into peaceful waters, calmer waters, more happiness, more bliss, judgment. Definitely could be somebody from your past here returning back, wanting to heal things with you, wanting to discuss with you, wanting to have a conversation with you here. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But Listen to your inner voice here, Libra, on how to navigate this situation. You may live at a distance from this person or they may want to travel towards you. But I definitely feel like they're interested in healing this connection with no matter what happens. So whatever conflict there was, it looks like they want to resolve conflict with you and honestly discuss how they feel about it or how they felt about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically what it looks like. If you are in a connection, they may want a second chance with you to resolve this and start over. Yeah, so that's what I got for you here, Libra. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And I'll see y'all very, very soon. And for my Aquariuses, hello my Aquariuses. Let's get into it for Aquarius for January 8th. In Aquarius, love life, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Let's see what's coming out for my beautiful Aquariuses. Okay, Aquarius, you have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. 
All right, some decision making for my Aquariuses. Let's see what the tarot has on Aquarius. Spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my Aquariuses. Why is it here for Aquarius for January 8th? Aquarius, you may be unsure of how you want to move forward in your love life. That may be why this card's coming out. So let's see for Aquarius. We have the Sun. We have the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there is some sort of confusion over commitment, possibly, Seven of Cups. You may be very confused or up in the air about somebody committing to you here. I'm going to clarify this whole thing. Why is this here for Aquarius? It looks like you want clarity, Aquarius. It looks like you want clarity on this situation. Or you feel the need that you need more clarity to make a decision on someone. So the decision of commitment may be up in the air between you and another person. But you, you it looks like you want more truth. You want more clarity for you to know that this is the person that is true. This is the person that you want commitment for. Page of Cups, The Fool... Eight of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like Aquarius, whoever this person is, I feel like you're willing to put the work into this connection, Eight of Pentacles, but you want to know that this person is willing to put effort and energy into you as well. The Fool is here, could be an Aries, you also have the Sun, could be a Leo, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, these, may, these signs may be in your chart or in their chart, but I feel like... Aquarius, you want more clarity that this person is open to your open to this connection and open to committing to you because you don't want to waste your time. You only want to put effort and energy into somebody who's open to this connection or open to commitment and loyalty. Page of Cups here. I definitely feel like you're cautious with your emotions right now. This could be totally vice versa. This other person could be deciding that they want to start something fresh, new, committed, and loving with you. So, I just feel like Aquarius, you're just in decision mode, but I feel like you're going to make the decision to take the risk on this connection, or this person is making a decision to take a risk on this connection in a whole new way than they were before with the Fool. A lot more loving and a lot more effort and reliability put in from this person or by you. So, that's what I got for my Aquariuses. Thank you for being here, Aquarius, and thank you very much for watching. All right, and let's get into it for my water signs, my Cancer, Scorpios, and Pisces. Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Let's see what's going on for Cancer for January 8th for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my beautiful Cancers. All right, Cancer, we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Okay, Cancer, let's get some tarot on that and see what's going on, Spirit. For my beautiful Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 8th. In their love lives for my Cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 8th. In their love lives. Alright Cancer, here we go. We have the Empress. We have the King of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. Okay Cancer, if you don't want to get pregnant then be careful. Um, just pointing that out. For others of you Cancers here with the Empress, you're really seeing your value, you're seeing your worth, and you are definitely attracting in abundance or abundant energy, but with the King of Pentacles coming through here, Cancer, you're very focused on your money, or you may be dealing with somebody who's very focused on their money. You may be dealing with a Libra or... a Taurus. Six of Cups, you're definitely feeling like you miss somebody or somebody misses you. So, I do feel like there's some missing energy here, some sort of nostalgic energy here. So, somebody may be returning to you 
with some loving energy or some energy of wanting to grow here. I do feel like Cancer, I feel like you're going to be into opening up, but I feel like you want to make sure that this person is into putting in more effort and reliability opposed to just opening up for a moment. But I do feel like somebody's missing you here, Cancer, or you're missing somebody, and I do feel like they may come around towards you and see if you're open to getting together or speaking or something along those lines. Because you're looking really good, Cancer. You're not letting people phase you with this Empress energy, King of Pentacles energy. This could be you or them, whatever the case may be. A lot of focus on the Pentacle, a lot of focus on things that you have to take care of in life. If you share a child with this person, you may have more sweet energy with them. There may be some sort of energy around being very caring with each other as well, so... I like this reading. I like this a lot. Just keep in mind, I definitely feel like you may be dealing with somebody who's hard to read or somebody feels like you're hard to read because of just how powerful you two are sitting in your stances right now. So that's what I got there for you, Cancer. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching and let's get into it for my Scorpios. Hello, my beautiful Scorpios for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 8th in their love lives for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in their love lives. What's going on for my Scorpios for January 8th in their love lives for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's coming through for you. All right, Scorpio, you have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, Scorpio, somebody expressing their themselves towards you, you towards them. Possibly a mutual expression here. Let's see what the tarot's got for Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 8th for my Scorpios. Let's see. For Scorpio, here we go. All right, Scorpio, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. All right, someone's been waiting for this. <laughs> Whoever hasn't been expressing themselves is finally going to express themselves. And definitely could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe you have that in your chart. But you've been waiting for something, Scorpio, or somebody's been waiting for you to open up and express yourself, them, themselves, whatever the case may be. Whatever you've been waiting for, Scorpio, is here. So if you've been waiting for new love, I feel like this could absolutely be somebody expressing that they're into you. If you've been waiting for an apology, this could come as well. If you're waiting for somebody to just open up more, this could come towards you as well. I feel like for others of you Scorpios, I kind of feel like another person is waiting for you to express yourself. So this could be mutually you both expressing that high possibility that you want commitment with each other queen of pentacles so this could be a romantic gesture of commitment this could also be a romantic gesture of an apology or some sort of wanting to start something new wanting to start something fresh randomly coming through scorpio if some of you've been waiting for a job offer that could be coming as well but I definitely feel like whatever you've been waiting to hear, you're going to hear it. Or whatever they've been waiting to hear, I feel like you're finally going to gain the confidence to express it to them. I feel like this is very lucky energy. I'm feeling luck. So Scorpio, whoever this is, you're getting very lucky with, I feel. Or they feel like they're very lucky to have you, Scorpio. I like this. Definitely, definitely a lot of earth energy. So I feel like this is very surrounding of money or commitment or starting something real and being more reliable to each other. That's what I feel like this is. More reliability in the connection for a lot of you. Some of you definitely, if you've been waiting to meet somebody new, this could be somebody new expressing like, Hey, Scorpio, like I'm into you. Do you want to start something? Do you want to see where this could go? Do you want to see if this could grow? Yeah. All right, Scorpio, that's what I got for you. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. And let's see for my beautiful Pisces for January 8th. 
in their love lives, my fellow Pisces. Pisces, your how do they feel about you for January is out. You can go find that on my channel. So for Pisces for January 8th in their love lives. Whoa. What's going on for Pisces for January 8th in their love lives for Pisces? Okay. All right, Pisces, you have... You deserve love. You are lovable. All right, Pisces. So raising your vibration, possibly Cupid's arrow is about to hit you or Cupid's arrow has hit someone else towards you. Definitely could be there. Possibly even a Sagittarius or somebody with Sagittarius in their chart with that archer bow and arrow. Let's see. Honestly, this card reminds me of like, you deserve love and you're about to see why, you know? So let's see. Pisces for January 8th. Maybe some of you have been thinking that you are unlovable or that you'll never find love or things will never work out for you. So let's see what the tarot's got for Pisces for January 8th. For Friday, January 8th. For my beautiful Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Okay, Pisces, you have the Hanged Man, the Empress, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, Pisces, somebody disappointed you, and, and somebody made you feel like you weren't worthy of love. Let me clarify this here, because it looks like you're finding your value. You're finding your abundance. You're finding that you truly are lovable after having a moment of feeling very stuck and thinking that you weren't worthy of love. But with the Five of Cups here, this is the need to change your focus and see that there is hope for you in love or there is hope for you in this connection. Let me clarify this for you, Pisces. For January 8th, Spirit for Pisces, can you please clarify this? Thank you. The Ace of Cups, there it is. The Seven of Wands and Judgment. Yeah, I don't know, Pisces. You've been defensive over your own worth. You've been defensive over the fact that you deserve love or that you deserve commitment, partnership, true love here. And it looks like you're coming to this realization, like this epiphany moment that you do have love around you. Or you may be getting this offer of love from somebody that's making you change the whole way you felt about yourself so you deserve love and it's coming ace of cups but there's been some sort of energy of you not listening to your inner self you've been listening to the negative thoughts opposed to the positive thoughts and i feel like now you're going to be actually being more optimistic why is judgment here for pisces It's like you've been very defensive over your own value. The Page of Wands. Yeah, you're finding that spark within. Somebody's making you feel like you're loved again. And you, you have a lot of false hope, Pisces. You have like no hope in love or you have no hope that you deserve love. And you're, you're defensive towards your own value. But something's changing it's judgment day it's time to learn from your mistakes or learn from your past and you have new love here or somebody's going to be offering you love and you're really going to be like wow like the spark has been relit within me like I, you're having this epiphany moment like wow I do deserve love I do I am lovable for some of you I definitely feel like this is a newer person but for others of you this could be somebody returning back from your past that made you lose your self-worth you may be a bit defensive over them because they did make you lose your self-worth, but somebody's coming, so that's what I got there for you, Pisces. Interesting read there. So let's move through to my fire signs, my Aries, my Leos, and Sagittariuses. So for Aries, for January 8th, for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, for Aries, in their love lives, for January 8th, Spirit, for my beautiful Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Aries. Oh my gosh, Aries, the cards. Okay, let's see what's going down for Aries. 
So Aries, you have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so it could be forgiving your parents. Yes, it could just be healing family issues. Like there may be some neglect you have of a brother, sister, cousin, family member. I don't know. It could be anybody. So Aries, you may be very scared of bringing your partner home or whatever the case may be. Or you're, you neglect your or you resent, I'm sorry, your parents in some way for something that they have done to you that that carries on to how you deal with romantic relationships. So let's get the tarot on this, Aries. First Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for January 8th. You may be mending with a family member as well, which is going to help your love life. Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Aries. I definitely feel like whatever needs to be healed, you will successfully heal it. Six of Wands, you will be coming out on top. You will have victory. You're definitely going to be feeling very good. A lot of attention. You're going to feel admired by many people or very admired by your person. They're going to be loving you all the way down. A very, very well-deserved reward here with this nine of pentacles feeling your worth feeling your value and definitely an offer coming your way ace of pentacles could be a new person offering you some sort of energy that they want to see you they want to get together with you they want to grow something or this could actually be you leveling up with your person because you did heal family issues so you may be at a higher level of commitment with your person because of that Maybe you're just going from a fling to making it official or fiance, fiance. Maybe there's some plans being in store to do something with each other. But it looks really good, Aries. Whatever needs to be healed, I feel like you're going to heal it. You're coming out on top. And I feel like you're getting a lot of very good attention. A lot of good attention from your person or from multiple people. So I really like this energy. It could be a fellow fire sign or it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But you do have an offer coming towards you where somebody wants to build with you, grow with you. They see you as somebody that they can have reliability, commitment with, stability, and growth. So it looks really, really good. I don't know if you're going to be like out in the wilderness or something or maybe... I don't know why I just said that, but I don't know if like you're going to take a walk in the park or you're planning to go somewhere for the nature. I don't know why I felt that, but maybe you're planning to go to somewhere that has better scenery. Remember, maybe you've been in quarantine with your person for too long and you two are finally coming up with a plan of let's get out of here. Let's change the scenery so we can feel like we're strengthening our bond in a different way. That's what it looks like. I like it. Some of you are getting an offer from a person that you've been getting a lot of connection, a lot of attention from. You may be going from single to an offer of a relationship. So that's what I got there for you, Aries. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And let's move on to my lion gang, my Leos. Let me just sip a water really quickly. All right, for Leo, let's get into it for Leo for January 8th. Leo, your how do they feel about you for the month of January for each zodiac sign's feelings towards you is in on my channel already. You can go find that. So let's get into it for Leo for January 8th. For Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for January 8th. For my beautiful, wonderful Leos. All right, Leo, you have let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Oh, right. You may be asking for advice or you may just need a helping hand, a supportive hand, whatever. Let's see. For January 8th, for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. For my Leos, for January 8th, for Leo, I never, whoa, I never got a message to do that. 
They want me to pull out another Romance Angels. Oh my, that was the weirdest thing I've ever, like, heard. Okay, Leo, hold on. One more Romance Angels for you. I don't know why, but I listened to the in I listened to the inner voice, y'all. I can't go against the inner voice, so whatever. Another Romance Angel for Leo for January 8th. I sound so unsure. Okay, so stay optimistic about your love life. Huh. So, um, some of you Leos may have a lot of um, negative thoughts, fears over your love life. And you may have to ask your friends to help you get out of your head or something. I don't know. That's what it looks like. What was that? Oh my gosh. You may be asking your friends how to be more optimistic or positive. Okay, let's get the tarot now. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 8th. For Leo. Alright, you have Death. The Knight of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. Oh, I see, I see. So, Leo, you've been through one too many changes, one too many endings here with this death energy. Could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio, but it looks like you have somebody in pursuit towards you, or you will have somebody in pursuit towards you. But, Leo, I feel like you don't have much hope about this person going the distance for you. I feel like you don't really have much hope that this person is good. Let's clarify this for Leo for January 8th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Leo. It's almost like... Ace of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, Leo. Okay, so this is what needs to happen. Or this is what Spirit is showing. There's a new person in your life or there's somebody who wants to start new with you after some sort of ending here. Ace of Swords, new communication coming through for you. I feel like this could be a totally new person that you just don't trust. I don't know why you don't trust them, but they don't look like they're giving you any reason not to trust them. It looks like you don't trust them because of past hurts and because you have been wounded in the past. For others of you, yes, this person may have been the one to change and end things with you and you don't trust their offer towards you, but it looks like they're pretty sincere or you need to stay optimistic about it. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, definitely an offer on the table to do something with this person. They're very interested in you. This person feels the spiritual connection towards you. I feel like, Leo, you may feel the spiritual connection towards this person, but I think it scares you. I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like they scare you. Or you feel scared by how much you feel towards them. I don't know what this is, Leo, but... You may have two people coming your way. I want to say it's only one, but I guess for some of you it could be two. But Leo, you, you're, you're not these hurts. You're not these endings. They don't dictate your future. The Ace of Swords on that death card means that you will have victory after endings. You will have victory after changes. I feel like there may be a change. If you're in a connection already, I feel like there's going to be a change in communication where it's going to be a lot more loving and a lot more stable and you can really rely on this person through communication more than they were doing before. But I almost feel like you still don't trust it. You're like, yeah, but they're just going to go back to communicating with me horribly again. So I don't trust this or I don't know what this is. Leo, but this person is willing to put in the effort and energy and fight for this connection and get you to trust them and get you to think positively about them. But you you definitely may have to put your guard down just a bit. Gosh, what is this? Wow. All right. Hopefully that resonates with somebody. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could be a water sign, specifically Scorpio, but it could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Woo! So ask your friends if you need help on that. And stay optimistic, Leo. So let's move through to my Sagittarius's. 
for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 8th. Hello, my beautiful Sagittariuses. Spirit for Sag for January 8th in their love lives for Sagittarius for January 8th. Okay, Sagittarius, you have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Scorpio got that card as well. I don't know if anybody's dealing with one. Just throwing it out there. So let's see what's coming through for Sagittarius. For December. Uh, December. Oh my gosh. I'm going backwards. For January 8th. For my Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for January 8th. In their love lives for Sagittarius for January 8th. For Sagittarius, January 8th. Thank you, Spirit. Page of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and Three of Cups. All right, so it looks like somebody's coming through for you, Sagittarius. Here, Page of Pentacles. Somebody has an offer for you. They want to know, will you take it? Page of Pentacles, this is an idea. Hey, Sagittarius, I'm putting this idea out into the 3D. I'm willing to grow on this idea. What do you think about it? It looks like you're going to be going a little bit back and forth on if you want to express yourself back to this person. So it looks like they're putting out an idea of how they feel about you in this 3D reality. Could be a friend, Three of Cups. There could be somebody that wants to come back into your life. They want to reconcile with you. Or this could be a friend that wants to level up here with you and express that they want this more than just a friend. So, Sagittarius, this absolutely could be somebody that uh, feels like they're in the friend zone or you feel like you're in the friend zone. Whatever the case may be, it looks like somebody's going back and forth with whether they want to express themselves or not. Or Sagittarius, when this person expresses themselves, it looks like you may be going back and forth on if you want to express yourself as well. But I do feel like there will be a coming together with this person, with the Three of Cups, no matter what. If somebody is very interested on in sharing the love with you, reconciling with you, really being in a happy energy with you. So, hmm, I feel like it's up to you, Sagittarius, if you want to reciprocate this person's energy, but they're definitely coming through with some sort of offer, some sort of idea, like, hey, maybe we should open up a little bit, or hey, what do you think about if this was more than just friends, or something about making a romantic gesture where things weren't so romantic, so maybe things are going to be getting a lot more loving, or... This is somebody from your past that wants to restart with you. Maybe they want to restart as friends and see if this can grow from there. Or maybe Sagittarius, someone trying to get out of the friend zone. You may be unsure about this person, Two of Pentacles. It may be very hard to find balance between this person. Or you may not want to ruin the friendship or something like that. But somebody wants to be in your energy. And I feel like Sagittarius, you're going back and forth. What do I do? What do I do? Do I let them in? Do I not let them in? What do I do? But they have an offer for you and they're coming. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But finding balance with this person is definitely going to be a little bit difficult. I feel like if this person's from your past or you know of this person, they may be a juggler. They may have multiple people involved. Or like I said, if this is a friend of yours... You may know what they're about and you're kind of like, I don't even know. Do I want to start something with them? Like I've seen their track record. I don't know if it's going to be great. I don't know. It's weird. Really weird. Hopefully some of y'all resonate with some of that. But that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. Thank you for everybody for being here. Thank you everyone for watching. Do not forget to check out your How Do They Feel About You readings. I'm going to start those releases to do them once a month in between the monthlies and the mid-months. But if they do get popular, I'll do them twice a month as well. So head over to my channel and find your sign and check out those videos. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed them. As well as, I'm going to tell y'all as well, Capricorn birthday bonus will be out very soon. I have chosen Scorpio and Aries to receive a bonus reading as well. So each Zodiac season, whoever season it is, gets a birthday bonus. And then I will choose two additional Zodiac signs to receive a bonus reading during that season. So sometime in Capricorn season, 
Capricorn, you'll get your birthday bonus. Scorpio and Aries. And we'll see who gets bonuses with Aquarius next season. So do not forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment. I'd love to interact with everyone. And have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see y'all very, very soon. Bye now.